So when I first started woodworking, I was using a very cheap plastic benchtop router table from Black & Decker, I think. And it was very flimsy, it wasn't accurate, and you just, it didn't do what you wanted it to do. But finally, we now have on the market a high quality, sturdy, small compact trim router table. And that is by Axminster Tools UJK brand. Even though I have a floor standing professional router table, I've always found that I wanted a small benchtop router table for routing out small delicate pieces. So I've went out and I've also bought a trim router dedicated for this router table. I'm excited to get it set up, so let's open the box. This looks really nicely packaged. I can already tell that the components are high quality and machined perfectly. So let's get all the components out. This is one hefty table, especially for a miniature router table. It is all one piece, solid, very smooth and heavy, which I really like. I notice that the bottom is recessed, so that's gonna increase your depth of cut. So all these components have the threads already cut in them, which makes life a lot easier when assembling. I won't need any nuts. So the frame goes together pretty easily. All the joints use the same bolt. I'm gonna tighten these by hand. I'm not gonna use a drill because I'm worried that a drill might be a bit too powerful and then ruin a thread if you over tighten. And I'm not gonna fully tighten these bolts straight away. I'm gonna get all the bolts in, make sure everything is square and then fully tighten them. Now to attach your router onto the tabletop, you need to drill into the tabletop. So I wanna get those holes drilled into the tabletop before I mount it onto the base. So I'm gonna unbox this router. Now this router table works with most quarter inch routers. Now I'm gonna drill out those holes. I'm using the pillar drill so that I'm drilling perfectly straight. So now I'm gonna countersink these holes so the head of the screw is below the top of the table. So now the holes are drilled out, I can mount the tabletop onto the base. These bolts are slightly longer and I need an Allen key to install them. Now for the fun part, I'm gonna install the router. Now for a small bench top router table, the fence is really chunky and solid. You've got two pieces that you bolt together. The dust shroud and port are both metal and this port fits most workshop vacuums. And this dust port fits onto the fence like that and also gets secured on with four bolts and four washers. I just forgot this blade guard gets mounted on with these same two bolts so I need to remove those and then thread the bolts through the safety guard and into the same holes. You don't want to do it too tight because then you can crack the plastic. And finally, to install the fence on, you have these two T-bolts that slide into the track. The fence goes on top of those. 
Then you have a couple of washers and the locking knobs. So the router table is fully assembled and I think it's only right now to give it a test. Now this process will be different depending on what router you've installed. This router table is for quarter inch routers or trim routers. So to set the height of the router bit, you adjust it from underneath and my trim router has a little knob I can turn so I can dial it in very accurately. You can also use a ruler to adjust the height or you can get the UJK digital height gauge. And what I do is I place that on top of the router bit and then I can get a very accurate reading. So I'm happy with that. I'm gonna lock that in place. Next, I'm gonna slide the router table forward. The base has this convenient flat area that can either be used with an MFT table or you can use a couple of clamps to secure the router table in place. Then you can set the fence in the right position and finally attach the dust hose. So I've got the Roman OG bit installed, let's give it a go. So there is the cut, you can see it is very clean. There was no vibrations, no breakout, no burning. I'm very happy with that. I'm gonna be using this router table most often with bearing guided bits and doing freehand work. So I wanna test that. I've put a chamfer bit in and let's give it a go. Routering these delicate pieces was very enjoyable and easy to do. I'm looking forward to routing a lot of small components on this machine. So I thought I'd give you a list of all the features it has so you can work out if it's the perfect portable router table for you. First of all, the build quality is excellent. The materials are very high quality and solid. It's made from phenolic, which is very tough and it won't warp even in damp environments. It's very small and portable, so you can take it onto the job site or if you're in a small workshop, it's the perfect size for that. It's compatible with an MFT table with these holes at the front, or you could do what I did and just use a couple of clamps to clamp it down to the table. It has a track on the table for a mitre fence, and it has a track on the fence for a featherboard. It has a metal dust port, so it won't be cracking. It's also slightly tapered on the inside, so you're gonna get a very snug fit, and it fits most workshop vacuums. You've got a clear safety guard and chip protector. It's compatible with pretty much every quarter inch router because you drill out the holes yourself to mount it. Also, the mounting area is recessed, so your router is as close to the top surface as possible, which means it's gonna maximize your depth of cut. There's a lot of space underneath, so everything is easily adjustable. There's even router bit storage on the back, so for your five most used router bits, you can store them right on the machine. Finally, the tabletop is very smooth and made from one full piece of phenolic, and it's not gonna scratch your work. In my opinion, there was definitely a space on the market for a high quality, compact, small router table. And I think this router table perfectly fills that gap. You may look at this machine and think it's just for beginners, but actually the build quality is so good, it's for all levels. So if you're a home DIYer, this is small enough to keep in a cupboard in the house. If you're a hobbyist woodworker, it's a great first router table to get. And if you're like me, a professional woodworker with a floor standing router table, getting a second one is always a good idea. Whether you're batching out components and you need two router bits set up at the same time, you can run the workpiece from one machine to the next. Or if you want one router table permanently set up with let's say a chamfer bit for doing all those small components, this is perfect. I'd much rather route small, delicate pieces on a small benchtop router table 
than using my floor standing round table, which takes a bit longer to set up. And it's louder, and I've got to hook up my big vacuum. This is just a bit quicker for those small tasks. So if you're interested in learning more about this router table or you want to buy one for yourself, there is a link in the description down below to Axmata Tools where you can buy it. So if you enjoyed this video and you appreciate the free content I make, I'd be really grateful when purchasing this router table or anything on Axmata's website to go through my link in the description of my videos. That's an affiliate link, it will tell Axmata I sent you. And basically I'll just get a small cut of your purchase for no extra cost to you. It's a great way of supporting the channel and help me keep making these videos. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I got some very exciting build videos coming up very soon. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do that. Thank you for sticking to the end and I'll see you very soon for the next video.